What's up YouTubers? You probably wonder why I'm standing here in my garage. Well, I'm doing a little remodel for my reloading room. What you're looking at right here, this used to be a garage door. The reason why it's so small, the garage door was for the golf carts, the ATVs, and the motorcycles. So I took the garage door out, put this piece of wood up, this temporary, so no bright rats or mice or raccoons can get in and then below here is the garage door floor the garage door floor I have that boarded up right now this is all gonna have to be filled with concrete I'm gonna be filling this with concrete this upcoming weekend and right here where the garage door used to be I'm going to be popping in a window, nice size window right here. And then like in this area, it's going to be all shelves. And I'm going to also, in the middle of this room up here, I'm going to be putting a wall in, a temporary wall, so I can have shelves on either side of the wall. And let me get over to here to show you what kind of reloader I'm going to be putting in. I'm going to be putting in the Hornady Lock and Load AP Loader. That's the loader right here. And over here, I got the Hornady Lock and Load Power Case Prep Center. And all the accessories are in this big old Cabela's box down here. I just got wood over the top of it right now so no dust or particles fly in it. So this is a pretty big size room you guys. Um, I got a little storage room in there for tools etc. This is all going to have shelves all the way down this wall right here. And then over here I'm going to build some more shelves. As you can see, I got everything piled up on this golf cart. The motorcycles are outside. The ATVs are outside. Got a bunch of primers and everything on this shelf. So I just wanted to show you guys that I'm under construction right now. And I'm going to be showing you the end product of everything that has been done in this entire room. It's a pretty big sized room. This is the back part of my garage. And right through here, this is the front part of my garage. So the back part of my garage, and then the front part of my garage. Look at that, an old school daisy up there. So I'm excited to get this going and rolling, guys. Always make sure you have the right tools before starting your reloading project right here. I got the Makita drill, the cat's paw, of course, um, your tool bag, your levels, etc., your scale saw right here, and then right here I got a Milwaukee, some screws, another Makita drill right under the screws, um, your Cinco nailing guns. Moving on down on this part of the garage, you got your Cinco compressor. So, let's get started. So now we're looking at update number one on the reloading room. I happened to get the window popped in yesterday, so we're looking at the window now in the reloading room right here. It turned out pretty nice. As you can see, it lets a lot of natural light in it. I'm going to be putting up a curtain in there and everything. The window looks pretty good. Got it all framed in and everything. Looks pretty good. So my next step is going to be putting in some insulation in this wall right underneath this window here. So the insulation I still have over here, which I'm going to be using to put underneath the window right there and then my next step is I got the driveway here the driveway is right here and I'm gonna be filling this with concrete so I got a flat level walking area 
So I'm looking at, you know, 14 sacks of concrete. So let's go pick up the concrete and see how that's going to look. I'll check back with you guys in a little while. Got concrete going in right now. This is tactical concrete for the reloading room. Four more bags and we should have it all finished up and complete. Moving quite a few days forward here, I want to show you the progress of everything I've done. I didn't want to bore you with all the construction work, so what we're looking at is the shelves where the golf cart was that I showed you earlier in the video. So those are the new shelves right here. And then moving over here, right here, we got fully stocked ammo right here. Factory reloads, such as Remington, Match, King, 308, Bowtail, Hollow Points, 168 grain. We got 10 millimeters, 9 millimeters, 40 Smiths and Wessons. Couple of ammo cans with extra ammo. Um, over here, I didn't have enough wood to do these shelves right here like I planned. So that's what that's going to look like for right now. And then that wall that I built almost in the middle of the room is up here. And I got about 4 foot of storage space up there. So you can store all kinds of stuff up there. And then coming on down to the reloading room here. Let's see what this is going to look like. I'm pretty stoked on how everything turned out. So this is the window with the mini blinds right here. I showed you guys that before. Up here I got a nice size light. I got more shelving up here up high. Got my shooters bags, my ammo cans, all that good stuff. Next shelf down, I got some targets. I got some bullets up here. All different calibers, 9s, 40s, 45s. Got a supply shelf right here of all my dies, my primers, some more bullets, 10 millimeter, 9 millimeter. Some more accessories for the reloading room. Me and my wife. A couple storage bins. Some nice size thousand yard targets right there. Then moving on down here. I got some loading trays. Some more accessories. Bought this at Home Depot. To throw some bullets in or accessories what have you. Got another little one right here as well for all my accessories so I'm very happy with that now let me show you the reloading bench guys you guys ready for this here's my reloading bench right here my cap my power case prepper is located right there by Hornady underneath my workbench I got the Sonic cleaner, 2 liter. I got my digital bench scale under there. The ground's all concreted in as you can see right there. And got some more 5 gallon buckets and some bullets under there. I was messing around with the reloader the other day. Back up to the bench. All my powder right here, my pistol powder. And then over here, I got my reloader located right there. So I'm pretty happy how everything turned out. There's a couple things I'm going to be adding to the reloading room and everything. Um, I'm going to be framing up a door. I'm going to be framing up a door so it's real secure in here. The door is going to run from this wall right here down to that sheetrock wall it's going to be a solid core door and also I might be putting some bars on the outside of this window or the inside of this window 
So it's totally secure and safe from kids and people that just want to rip you off in general, you know what I mean? Um, I got a lot of questions on some of this reloading. I'm fairly new to it. I'll probably be asking you quite a few questions. Some of my top YouTubers and everything or anyone that just wants to help in general. Justin, I think those pants are shot. They are shot. It's summertime, so I guess I gotta turn them into shorts. <laughs> Let's do this leg at the same time. <laughs> Look, I got a rip here, too. <laughs> there, I got shorts. How's that, babe? <laughs> uh.